What's up divas and divos? It's your girl April, but yes, we are here to do another affordable wig. This company is new, but I have worked with their sister company before, so I am like not even worried about it. You know what I'm saying? Like not even worried about it. You know how you work with another company for so long, then they have a new company to come out. You know the hair is going to be just as good, so I'm not even worried about it. I'm like not even stressing it, okay? You know that they have some really nice affordable wigs. Like, if you on a budget, then you make sure that you check their website. I will post all of the information below. They also have a store on AliExpress. But like I said, I will put all the links that you guys will need below. This one here, though, is their C360. You know, like them 360s that everybody's going crazy about. This is their 360 lace frontal unit. It is their kinky, curly, 20 inches, hunties. 20 inches. Now, first of all, the hair is really pretty. I like it because it's full. It did not come to me like this, meaning it didn't look like this. It was pre-packaged. You know, the curls are much tighter. Let me tell you, you have to wash the wigs when you get them, especially when they're curly. It just has this whole different look after you have washed it and allowed it to air dry. And that's exactly what I did. I co-washed it, put in my little curl protection or curling cream and allowed it to air dry. And this is how she came out, honeys. Now, you know, it is going to get a lot bigger once you put it on, meaning once you start running your fingers through it, it's going to have more volume. So the finger combing depends on or the volume the volume of the hair depends on the finger combing that you do, okay? I like it kind of like medium big somewhat. Not too big, but medium big, okay? And now, it is virgin hair, and it was created really nice. I did go ahead and sew an elastic band in it because I just like for my wigs to fit really flat, flush to my head to where I don't have to do anything. It does have three combs, does it? Oh, Four, actually so it has three combs in the front I never use these combs right here because I just feel like when these combs are in the middle it just seems like they're so hard to like place in if you guys agree with me about these middle combs here leave the comment below what you guys think about the combs that are right here I always use this comb here normally I'll take these out because I just find them to be like a nuisance but it has the comb in the back and the adjustable strap and now it has an elastic waist as well elastic band as well because I just want it to be really tight. So like I was saying, it's a 360 frontal, so you know, it has parting all around the front. This is probably like five inches, five inches of parting, five to six inches, and then it has the tracks sewn right here in the middle. Wefting tracks, if you can see them. They're actual wefting tracks on it. So just like you would make a 360, they already have them made for you. And I love it. I love it. Honestly, the 360 reminds me of a lace front with just elastic, with just lace around here no biggie to me um more full lace a glueless full lace it just reminds me of the same thing but it is the rave it is the rave so i did um tweeze some of the hairline out of it because it was a little bit thick for me so i did go ahead and tweeze some of that while it was wet i just think that the best time to do it is when it's wet because then it will really really come out a lot easier opposed to tugging on the lace so let's do this video
Okay, you guys, so I did a little bit extra this time. I was just gonna leave it style as it was, but then I was like, you know what? Let me see if this stuff really is going to look cute up in like a bun, a high bun. Like I don't really wear high buns with hair out. Um, I normally just have a bun and that's it. But I did part it all kind of ways. Like it's some part over here. It's, this is like a messy high bun. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no part into it. It's just a messy high bun. But what's cool about a 360 frontal or a full lace or a lace frontal, you can put it up in either a high, a low, medium, ponytail or bun. You can do a lot of different things with it. But the hair texture is really pretty. The cap construction is great. And I like the way it came out. Um, the front hairline was, like I said, it did need some tweezing. And that's what I did because it was a little bit thick. Like the, um, it just was a little bit thick for my taste. So I did tweeze some of it out. And I just put some baby hairs. Not really baby hairs. I just brushed out a little bit of hair. That way I didn't have to take any of my own natural hair out. If you love kinky hair, curly hair, then check them out. Out. They have some really great hair. I did say they have an AliExpress store as well, but their sister company. So make sure you check them out. So on that note, you guys, let me know what you think of this unit right here. I gotta make a special phone call because one of my grandkids, because I do have two, turned four years old today. So I gotta call him up and wish him a happy birthday. So I love you guys. Stay diva and divalicious. Thanks for watching me guys. And I'll see you on a soon to come video. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And all the info will be posted for you guys down below.